Okay, uh, we're going to move on now to our agenda. So, before we approve the agenda, I request to hold the following agenda items for the closed meeting. Agenda item 11.1, resignation agreement. Uh, I also request a closed meeting under Illinois Compiled Statutes 5 ILC 120 for the following reasons. Section 2C1, the appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees of the public body, and Section 2C2, collective negotiation matters between the public body and its employees. There will be action after the closed meeting. Now I will ask for approval of the agenda. Second. Second. A discussion. Roll call, please. Mr. Farrar. Uh, aye. Mr. Anderson. Aye. Dr. Finger. Aye. Dr. Griffin. Aye. Ms. Holland. Aye. Mrs. Oshwater. Aye. Mr. Roca. Aye. Mr. Stanton. Aye. Approval of minutes. Uh, 2.1 committed to hold closed meeting of September 25, 2018. Motion, please. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Farrar? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Finger? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? Aye. Mr. Roca? Aye. Mr. Stanton? Aye. 2.2, regular meeting of September 25th, 2018. Motion, please. Second. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Farrar? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Finger? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? Aye. Mr. Roca? Aye. Mr. Stanton? Mr. Stanton. And 2.3, closed meeting of September 25th, 2018. Motion, please. Second. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Farrar? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Finger? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? Uh, Mr. Roca? Uh, Mr. Stanton. Item 3, receipt of notices, communications, hearings, and petitions. This is the part of the meeting where a specific public may address the board. <coughs> if there is someone who would like to do so, please approach the podium, state your name, and if available, provide your written comments or contact information to Karen Stanton here after you have spoken. So I would like to address the board tonight. Uh, next item, Chair's report. Uh, our student trustee, are you ready to give us a report? Yes, I am. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of a long one, but that, if that's okay with you guys. That's fine. We'd so love to hear what our students talking. are doing. All right, cool. So, Student Government Association attended the American Student Government Association, which is ASGA. The conference held in Washington, D.C. COC's SGA members included Treasurer Brittany Coley and Vice President Anya Luce and Senator Jesse Zumstein. <coughs> Attendees participated in various workshops, including the implementation of creative programs, influencing productivity, dealing with conflict, and encouraging voting. Attendees also networked with other SGAs, shared their experiences, and heard about how SGA is organized at other schools. While attending the Association of Community College Trustees Leadership Congress in New York City, I attended a session on the impact of the student trustee. I also attended one on how athletics helps create student engagement and success. The session was helpful and valuable to my knowledge of athletics and impact at the college level. CLC Women's Tennis became the 2018 NJCAA Region 4 Champions after earning second place in the Skyway Conference. They qualified for the NJCAA National Tournament, which was held in Tyler, Texas next May. Head coach Jim Love was voted NJCAA Region 4 Coach of the Year. CLC Men's Golf has won back-to-back -back Skyway Conference Championship titles. Placing second at the NJCAA Region 4 Tournament, they qualified for the NG NJCAA National Tournament in May. Head coach Chris Wanowski, who is in attendance tonight, was voted Skyway Conference Coach of the Year for the second year in a row. Early this month, CLC, in partnership with Lake, the Lake County Health Department, hosted an epidemic at home to increase awareness of the nation's opioid crisis. Guest speaker Nick Morgan is the founder of Crush Epidemic, an addiction awareness and outreach group on social media. A panel hosted by Mike Nierheim included national and local experts from the U.S. Department of Justice, Lake County Health Department, and others to further address the opioid crisis in Lake County. 
Social Action Club followed up by hosting an event on another crisis topic with a suicide awareness discussion panel to educate people about the warning signs that accompany suicide so that people can get help and support. Guest speakers shared their powerful stories, which was followed by an open discussion so that participants could share their own experiences. SGA sponsored several voter registration events this month and are planning a voting ban to take students and other CSU members getting a ride to the polls on November 6th. In order to give students opportunities to voice their comments or concerns, I've added office hours in the Student Activities Office at the Grays Lake Campus on Mondays from 1 to 2 p.m., Wednesdays from 1 to 3 p.m., and Thursdays from 2 to 3 p.m. Dr. Suddick and SGA had a listening meeting for uh, our SGA meetings, um, our, our weekly SGA meetings, which was open to all students. Um, each student had their own batch of sticky notes, and the, the objective was to get feedback on each question that was posted around the room. Questions were categorized under a multitude of different topics, including student inclusion, campus experience, and academic success. Dr. Suddick encouraged dialogue throughout and emphasized that this information will be compiled and shared for further discussion and work. Greatly appreciate Dr. Suddick giving the students the opportunity to share their feedback with their And that concludes my report. Oh, thank you, Brandon. That was excellent.